Alright, you guys. One, two, three. Yep, that's where I put it. There's the pelican trying to get on us. Look at that! Oh, my word. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh. Alright, I don't care what you're catching. This will eat like this. It is great. Now, the only problem we got is I see Flipper just popped up on us. Flipper will come in and he'll scare the whole school of jacks away. There you go, baby. Come on. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Alright, let me get this one back in the water fast for me. Before Flipper gets on it. Because Flipper will be here. See you guys look over there. See what Flipper is? Come on, let's go. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you go. Come on, baby. Still fired up. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. How greedy is that? That's like impossible. You know, I've seen snakes swallow some big stuff, but no pelicans can try something that big. Welcome to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Yay! <laughs> well, hello, you guys. Welcome to this episode of the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. I got lots of friends today, and they are being... They're trying to eat better than the fish. So what I have to do is I grab a couple of these dead bait out of here. I let them see it, and I got to chunk them around the edge and then grab a live bait and throw it this way so I can catch one of the, uh, you'll see what we're gonna catch. We're gonna call this episode, Canal Tuna Reloaded. Check it out, it's gonna be good stuff. All right, we're gonna do that again. This time I'm gonna have a bait, and watch this. This is gonna be pretty good stuff. Probably one of my favorite type fishing that exists. There we go. See that big bus, you guys? Look, I already got one. Oh my god, look at that, look at that! Ah! Yes, look at that! Look at that! Rip the head, you know, rip the whole body and just left me with a head. See how fast that is, these guys are voracious feeders. This is awesome, watch this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And they're waiting on me. Oh, pelicans are waiting on me. Behind us, check out this bridge behind us. These fish are strong and they can pull me into that bridge. And I have to put a lot of pressure on them. I see they bent the hook out a little bit. They didn't bend it out real far, but I think they bent it out far enough for it to get off. Oh, there's some big ones busting behind us, you guys. <laughs> now let me catch my fish on this side. Awesome about this 
this, you guys. Just look, we're right here in public spot, fishing a public place. Carter's driving all by us, and I'm having a ball. This is awesome. Ugh. Yeah, baby. Come on now. And yeah, these fish are probably, look at that one behind him. See it? Look at him chase it, you guys. See that one right behind him? Look, look. Oh, did you see him? Awesome. Yeah, this was probably about eight, nine pounds. We'll check. You know, this is usually Goliath bait for us. Oh, look at that one. Come on with it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on now. All right, all right, all right. Come here, come here, come here. There's like three or four right there with it, you guys. Calm down, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, when you use heavier tackle, like right now, we have to turn them. There's a bridge behind us. And if we use the smaller spinning rods, they have a tendency to take us into the bridge and break us off. Let's see, here we go. So this is what we're going after, you guys. And now tuna at its finest. And she's talking back to you, you hear? All right, you get to go this time. Next time, Goliath Rupert bait. All right, let me put her in. There we go, nice little eagle fly on there. Three yacht, J-hook. So you guys on YouTube that asked me what the side, what the uh, hooks are, so. There we go. All right, let's see how much she weighs real quick. Right at seven pounds. All right, here we go. Now watch this, real time, you guys. I'm gonna reach in. All right, I just took that bait off. No break, no cuts. Here we go. I'll grab this fatty one right here. Put it on my hook. Walk to the front real quick. All right, as long as I don't get the pelican. Ah! That wasn't. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, the pelican struck. Come on. Come on. <laughs> go down, go down, go down. Don't you get hit. Oh, I believe I got him. No, nope. yep, I got him. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, come on, come on. Come at me, come at me, come at me, come at me. Oh my goodness, you guys. Hey, 10 pound fish, they'll pull you up on your toes, especially when you fish heavy drag. You're fishing like a. Uh, 50 pound suffix braided line. I like the high vis yellow because I like to know where my line and my fish are. And as you can tell, line colors don't really mean that much when they're eating well. But I like this color anyway. Come on, baby. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And you know, I have people come from all over the country to do the Goliath grouper trips. And they love the Goliath grouper shows. But when they come down, when we start a trip off catching, ah, catching these big jacks like this, they're hooked from the word go from the first fish they get on. All right, let's put this up here. Another one about the same size as the last one, which is an awesome size. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see. All right, it's the tough part with the jets because they move so much. There we go. Got that one. Got that one. Hook just dropped out for me. Oh, 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 oh. Another beautiful canal tuna. Look at that. We're catching here right in the middle of the city. Awesome fit. All right, see you later, big dog. Don't go anywhere. This time it's gonna work. 
bait. Watch your heads. Oh, look what happened. Broke my hook off. I guess I won't be able to uh, use that one after all. You have to wait. Here we go again, you guys. It's getting tough. These things are driving me nuts. All right, we got it out there safe. Think we're gonna beat the bird? And I, oh, my word. Ah, come on now. You guys are killing me. Once again, take some of these out. Jump that way over. Get my bait fish out here. Just too mean. I can't get one of these little one of these single ones in there. They're laying it into me. Some good fishing. Now you know why I'm calling the canal tuna reloaded. Alright, 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 come on. Come on. Oh, look at that, you guys behind me. I can't believe it. he's been in there for a whole total of like seven seconds already. Oh my word. What is going on? <gasps> I don't know. You know, Jason gave me that hurt a little dog. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, fellas. I know you're hungry. Chew on this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I had to switch and I hooked it that time into the uh, back instead of uh, hooking it uh, right to the lip. Oh, you guys, look at this. And they are all around us right now. Oh, oh heck no. What is going on? All right, you guys, what am I supposed to tell these fish? That's right, chew on this, check it out. We gotta beat the pelicans. The back got me another bait, another hook. If it's more than five seconds, I'm gonna be surprised. Am I surprised, am I surprised? It's looking like five seconds. It's five seconds, what's wrong with them? Come on, babies. Come on. I didn't keep them going in the same spot now. Good grief! <laughs> there we go behind it too. Oh, come on, baby. Okay, he's not quite as big as the ones we were catching this morning. That we were getting hooked up. He's a good one though. Come on, baby. Look at that, you guys. He's nice. He's nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Come on, he's gonna splash you guys in the face. Let's just... Oh, there we go. Let's see, well, at least the Pelicans can't eat him. I know he probably don't like that feeling. No, I wouldn't. All right, let's get this guy real quick. All right. You see how spicy these dudes are? This one's ticked off. Look at the ones underneath it. Watch you guys. But look at that. Look at all those underneath it. We see them. Watch this. Watch, watch. Look through the water. Here, see it right there? See that one? Check it out. Look, he'll swim because they'll want to eat another one right next to it. They want to eat what this guy's got in his mouth. Because they're greedy like that. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up now. I'll get you. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice little release. You guys, let's get some more, because this is awesome. Oh, stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, here it goes, you guys. 
side of the boat, drop it straight down. Give her a little bit of line. Watch that bait. You see that bait? Watch it. There's, oh, look at that! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> that is awesome! Come on, baby! Come on! I don't know if you guys got to see that, but. Oh. No biggie. We'll get another one. I think it'll do it the same way. That one there is probably about 12 pounds. Let's see what we can do. All right, this is three times in a row. Bag, bait, thread fan, hooked in the nose. Coming around you. Boom, drop it over. I'll feed a little line. Watch that bait, you guys. Watch that bait. See that bait? Oh, look at it. Oh, my goodness. Here she comes out of the water. Watch this, you guys. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> awesome. And then the pelicans get what he spits up. That ain't right. Oh, he spit up too. This guy's been eating good. There's another big one right behind him. <laughs> now, how do they think that they can eat that? It weighs more than they do. I don't get them sometimes. Yeah, don't want to get too tight there. We'll break her eye. Man, they are strong. You guys, you know I've been training in jujitsu and all that stuff, and you know we wrestle around and grapple and all that kind of stuff. So you would think that it would make it a lot easier to put a beating on these fish. I tell you what. These guys are in the wild, they're fighting for their lives. So they go as hard as they possibly can. See, there's another beauty. That one, you guys. And eating right underneath the boat. Didn't have to cast it, just dropped it over the side. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You get no kisses from me, though. But I appreciate it. And hey, we're going to come back for a glide show with one of those other guys. Make sure you eat, because I got somebody to feed you, too. All right, let's see. You might want to know how much this one weighs real quick, like. Let's check it out. It's right at eight pounds. There we go. Oh, they are on fire. You know, they started off on fire, and they're still on fire all the way to the end of the show today. Oh, this is a blast. <sighs> Come on, baby. Oh, nice, nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, you cut me up. And I got flipper underneath me. There we go, baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, you guys, there's another beautiful Jack Cravel. We like to call him Canal Tuna. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show. And remember, when you see that big fish, whether it's a jack, goliath grouper, when you throw that bait at them, you tell them, chew on this. Godspeed, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>